I'm Aaron Bragwood for Cars.com. If you follow us online, you might think that our days are filled with the latest German sports sedans or expensive Japanese luxury cars. On most days, you'd be right, which is why we try and make it a point to also get into vehicles that the average American can afford. That's what brings us here. We've assembled seven of the top compact cars in the category for this, the 2013 Compact Car Challenge. Those seven cars are the 2014 Ford Focus, the 2013 Hyundai Elantra, the 2014 Kia Forte, the 2013 Subaru Impreza, the 2013 Nissan Sentra, the 2013 Honda Civic, and the 2014 Toyota Corolla. Let's have a look at some of the features that you should look out for. In the compact category, we're increasingly seeing a lot of electronic equipment included in the price of the vehicle. It's almost a cost of entry for a number of younger buyers who are looking for that kind of connectivity in the vehicle no matter what the price point. In this competition, we were kind of surprised by the Nissan in terms of how much electronics it actually included. Bluetooth streaming audio, voice controls, and even a low-cost navigation system. Now, a nav system is fairly unique. Most of these other cars only have things like Bluetooth streaming audio or the ability to plug a music player into a USB port and control it through the head unit. Still, a lot of this content is becoming increasingly common. One safety feature that's starting to appear in the compact category are rear view backup cameras. In fact, the United States government is even thinking of mandating them for sale across all vehicles in just a couple of years. Three vehicles in our test actually include this feature, the Toyota Corolla, the Nissan Sentra, and the Honda Civic. This is actually a really nice safety feature to have. It prevents you from backing over any small obstacles that you might not have seen, including small children. These vehicles usually feature the rear view camera as an extra cost option, except in the Honda Civic where it actually comes standard. Used to be a time when even if you bought an expensive luxury car, you still got stamped steel wheels with plastic hubcaps. At the $20,000 level, that's still pretty much the norm. Four of the cars in our test have 15 inch stamped steel wheels with plastic hubcaps like the Ford Focus. The Nissan Sentra moves up a little bit. It has 16 inch stamped steel wheels with hubcaps, but in order to get that luxury touch, you have to go with the Koreans. The Hyundai and the Kia both feature 16 inch alloy wheels. Now, 15 inch wheels aren't necessarily a bad thing. The tires are a lot less expensive to replace and the ride, it tends to be a little bit quieter as these tall sidewalls soak up a lot of the noise. But you have to admit, the 16 inch alloys still look a lot better. All of the cars in our test have automatic transmissions, but did you know there are now different types of automatic transmissions? Cars like this Hyundai Elantra have a normal automatic transmission with a torque converter and gears and behave like you'd always expect an automatic transmission to behave. Cars like the Ford Focus, however, have something called a dual clutch transmission. The torque converter is gone and instead it has two clutches. Now all you have to do is put it in D and go like an automatic transmission, but it feels a little bit different in terms of some hesitations and changing gears. Ford does this because it's got about a 10% improvement in fuel economy versus a normal automatic. The biggest difference comes in the third type of transmission that we see in cars like the Subaru Impreza. It has a continuously variable transmission, or CVT. It replaces gears with a metal belt and two pulleys that change ratios as you go forward. Now, it feels completely different than an automatic transmission in that it revs the engine to a certain point and holds it as you accelerate. There is no shifting. So instead, you get a little bit more noise, but also a little bit better fuel economy as well. Compact cars are one of the hottest selling segments in the market, and now you can see there's quite a lot of content available even at $20,000. See which one of these cars came out on top and research all of them individually at cars.com. Thanks for joining us.